Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we actually have a listener request uh, from Green Bay Wolverines. He commented, hey man, nice vid. I was wondering if you could do an analytic video on Michigan's newest addition, Shea Patterson. And I figured that I could do a video on this topic. Now, this is not going to be an extremely long video, uh, but we're going to focus in on two main points. One, high school production data, and two, college production data. Uh, Shea Patterson has not had the longest career in college ever, but he has played enough uh, from his freshman season to his sophomore season to give somewhat of an idea of some of the positives and some of the negatives of him, at least when he was at Ole Miss. So we're going to get into all that information. Uh, all terms and definitions are going to be in the description, by the way. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, if you're new to this content uh, or the concepts I'm going to be talking about, all that information is going to be there. Um, and on top of that, if you go to draftcoburn.wordpress.com, uh, I've posted uh, the majority of all of my FBS and high school data to that platform. Uh, so you can just kind of go to the search box and type in high school production or just high school uh, and it'll pop up a bunch of stuff. And of course, um, college production stuff as well. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's get into Shea Patterson. Uh, starting with his high school production score. Uh, he had a 88.83 high school production score uh, coming out of his uh, Louisiana school. Uh, and this was his best season, essentially. So we're, we're not talking about what he was. Like, the score, the high school production score, is not about how well a quarterback did in high school based on their career as much as what was their best season, statistically, when it comes to data. And when it comes to Shea Patterson... His best season was 88.83. Now, what this means, based on all the data that I have uh, collected since 2004, is that he has a very good shot of eventually developing into an 80 percentile or 90 percentile quarterback. Because the average high school production score of an 80 percentile scoring FBS Quarterback. So basically the quarterbacks that scored in the 80 percentile or the 90 percentile or higher of production at the FBS level. And by production, I'm talking about the touchdown to interception ratio compared to peers, completion percentage compared to peers, and also the strength of schedule that they face compared to their peers. So based on all that information, Shea Patterson essentially shares the same traits of a quarterback who potentially could hit a 80 percentile plus year or a 90 plus percentile year, which essentially means that there's a very good shot that Shea Patterson, based on his high school production, could end up being a above average quarterback at the uh, college level. And not only that, has a very good shot of becoming a high end, so not even above average, but a high end quarterback based on his data. The only question marks with Shea Patterson has been his college production up to this point. Now, it is important to note that a lot of his college production up to, up to this point has been a little wishy-washy due to injury and also due to the fact that he didn't play as much in certain seasons. For example, in 2016, he, he did not play the majority of the snaps that year at the quarterback position. So, uh, you know, again, so for the most part, his quarterback scores have not been amazing. Uh, up to this point, uh, his biggest things that have held him back have been his touchdown to intercepts ratio and his completion percentage. Both those areas have been kind of below average compared to uh, other quarterbacks when it comes to that data point. But ultimately, this is just kind of how uh, things kind of shake out, you know, with him is that he now he did have some positives to point to. I mean, 2017, for example, he had very good yards per attempt, adjusted yards per attempt, and quarterback rating. Uh, so he has that stuff going for him. It's just that his touch on interception ratio and his completion percentage data has not exactly been the best during his career, whether that was his freshman season 
or his sophomore season. But, and this is a big but, he's going to Jim Harbaugh. You know, he's going to a quarterback coach who has a history uh, grooming certain quarterbacks and developing certain quarterbacks into, you know, NFL uh, style quarterbacks. Not only, not only NFL style, but just above average quarterbacks in general. I mean, just look at Jake Ruddick, you know, for example, who uh, was able to put in a couple decent seasons at Michigan. Of course, he's not amazing, but he was above average compared uh, to college football. Uh, so essentially, Shea, there is some hope with Shea Patterson. I mean, the hope that, that you're trying to bank on is his high school production, that Ole Miss just didn't quite work out, and he's going to Michigan, and once he goes to Michigan, Harbaugh's going to get a hold of him, uh, groom him, develop him, uh, and basically have him take that next step, as well as the argument that maybe Ole Miss didn't have the best program ever in terms of talent around him and the, all those other sort of excuses. But I think, the, again, the clear thing to say about Shea Patterson is that he is a quarterback that is kind of stuck in development right now. So he has not really proven to be a above-average quarterback at the college level up to this point. But the potential is definitely still there uh, from the high school production and from those other sort of areas, if you will. Um, so ultimately, that's just kind of how the data kind of falls for Shea Patterson. Um, this could end up being a very good situation for him. Uh, you know, again, his high school production is such uh, that if he goes to he goes with Jim Harbaugh and they really click, uh, then this could end, he could end up being a, a very high end quarterback for them. Uh, at the same time, you do have to realize that the first two seasons that he's played at Ole Miss, he hasn't exactly been uh, that amazing either. But that's how I fall on this particular topic. Uh, so uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, Green Bay Wolverine. Uh, Wolverines uh, for the comment. Uh, I felt like it was a good sort of topic to kind of get into uh, with Shea Patterson going to Michigan. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button to always be reminded when another video drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.